everyone, I'm Tanya from the product marketing team here at WebEngage and as we enter the last quarter of 2022, here are some updates from the previous quarter to help you make the most of your WebEngage dashboard. Starting with a big update for e-commerce and DTC businesses, introducing a one-click Shopify integration. You can now integrate your Shopify store to a WebEngage dashboard and start by creating engaging campaigns for your users from day one. Once integrated, we automatically start tracking user data reducing your integration time. Next is an advancement to your push notifications. You can now add timers to your push notifications to create a sense of urgency and influence user buying decisions through flash sales, daily deals and more. We've added two different types of timer layouts, countdown timer push and timer push with progress bar. Speaking of notifications, our next update lets you customize the appearance of your in-app notifications by adding GIFs and also specifying the custom image height, empowering you to create engaging messages for your customers. Not just that, we've also added custom HTML support for your in-app notifications, giving you 100% control over the look and feel of your in-app notifications. Advancing our machine learning efforts, we introduced predictive segments. You can now create predictive segments for any business goal. For example, predict users who are likely to perform a purchase event in the next seven days. Our machine learning engine then creates three lists in your account, most likely, moderately likely, and least likely to achieve the goal. You can use this to create standalone campaigns or use them in journeys as well. Also, you can select any custom event as goal to create predictive segments. Use attribute filters such as purchases greater than 10,000 or use multiple events such as flight or hotel booked in the next 7 days. These segments will then be created as static lists in your account and will auto-refresh every week. Now let's talk about engagement scores. It assigns scores to a user profile in your WebEngage dashboard based on the weightage of various system and or custom events. This ranges from a score of 1 to 10 and refreshes periodically. You can use this code to segment users and create personalized campaigns. And as a final update, we've added new event attributes for push sent and push accepted events in your WebEngage dashboard. This will be helpful to uncover insights such as what the push sent event looks like against different device models. This can be used across various analytics sections such as events, cohorts, funnels, and can also be used for campaign overview and analyze section. That was a recap of all our exciting feature updates. We hope you make the most of this and in case of any doubts, do get in touch with your CSMs or reach out to us at the below email ID.